Hello, welcome back. Kendra Morgan Official here. I'm up here and today we're going to be doing our monthly shop my stash. Just kind of showing you what I have in my capsule. So let me go ahead and break this down for you. I kind of actually sat down and wrote some stuff out this time around. I'm planning to give you guys what's empty um, and or going on the chopping block. Then I will give you what's staying from my basket because uh, you can see I've accumulated a lot of stuff here. And then I will shop the stash for up to three products. So I'll give you guys um, a blush, a bronzer, a highlighter that I'll shop for. Foundation concealer, eyeshadow palettes, eyeshadow singles, primers, powders, and setting sprays will be in one category. And then SPF is also another category. And then I'll go ahead and wrap things up with my uh, monthly brush rotation. So that's kind of the format. If you like and enjoy this type of content or are on a beauty budget and you yourself want to um, be around like-minded folks such as myself, then please subscribe to the channel and let's get started. I feel like this is a little bit better, but let's talk about um, empties. So I know I don't probably ever show you guys this one, but this one right here, she is empty. Kiehl's Buttermilk um, Lip Mask, great for the wintertime, great for the summertime. I used to use this on clients, but it's too thick for a 20-minute job. It's more of um, a two-hour job, so I do keep a lot of this around. It's $26, so um, I have not found a dupe for it yet. If anybody knows a dupe for this, please let me know. I've been trying a lot of them. So, but this is, this is the one I always go back to, but it is empty. I mean, there's a little bit in there. I'm probably going to go ahead and like slide some of that out onto my lips and call it a day. It will go in the empties category. Next going on the chopping block is, um, well, actually I don't know that there's anything that's really going on the chopping block. Actually, this concealer might be going on the chopping block because I just really cannot stand this sucker. Um, I ended up. I don't know. It's it's super thick. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. So, and then this needs to go back because it is um, it's it's not the right shade for me. I think I'm going to go ahead and use this one more month and see. It's the Becca Ultimate Coverage Longwear Concealer. So we're going to keep that. Oh, this is going on the chopping block. This Lux Liquid Gloss by ColourPop is super sticky. Thick, gunky. I'm going to put that on the chopping block. All right. Everything else pretty much. Um, oh, yeah. This is going on the chopping block, too. I don't like this color. Hmm. I think a lot of this is just going to go ahead and go back, and I will start fresh, and I'll show you guys um, three categories. But I'm going to go ahead and keep this one, this foundation. This is the... Zit Sticka Mega Shield SPF, and it's a hybrid, so it has both. Um, let me go ahead and do that. It has both uh, physical and chemical, so that's gonna stay. I'm testing that out for you all. This is gonna stay as well. This is a nice essence lip gloss. This will stay. Um, okay, so in here I have two. Oh, this I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. It's just about gone, and it's like kind of not tasting weird, but it just feels kind of weird and gritty. So that's going to go in the trash. Okay, this has got to stay because I don't have any other cream bronzers other than that one, I think. Um, out of these two, I've been using the Naked one more often. I think I'm going to go ahead and stick with that. This is a little bit lighter in shade, but I think I'm going to go ahead and stick with the uh, the Naked. Okay, I grabbed this uh, Bobbi Brown. It's going to go back as well, and I will probably select a single eyeshadow to kind of complement the rest of my um, eyeshadows I'm using. So I grabbed out Moondust a while back. This wasn't even in my shop, my stash. Like, what am I doing? These are all going back. I like them, but they're just going to go back. This is the highlighter that I picked out because, oh, this is on the chopping block, by the way, because I did not like this. Hello, how are you? Doopy doopy doop. Um, <laughs> this is on the chopping block. It was really powdery. I, I, I don't really like it. To be quite honest, I didn't really care for this guy either. Um, but I think I'm just going to put it back. I think it's fine. I just didn't really 
enjoy it this round. This is my sponge. Um, oh yeah, here's the other thing. So I have these two right here, and I think I'm gonna keep the painterly paint pot, and I'm gonna stick back the Urban Decay. This really shouldn't be like this, but you know, whatever. I'm gonna keep this guy in there. Um, I have two setting sprays going on here. I do kind of want to keep both of them in there, and here's why. On days that it's really super sunny and I need to re-up, I'll use this because we're getting pretty low. And then this is kind of nice just um, to help blend things in. For lip products, I think I want a lip nourishing product and a product that is like pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick with this. It's almost gone. And I'll keep this because I like it. And then uh, this will go back. Here's another example of how crazy I am. So here is a um, lip exfoliator and there's a prep and prime from Mac right here. And this is, it's like you don't need both. You just don't. This is from a previous life. And this one right here I use, uh, used to be in my kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, I'm gonna use this up. So I'm also gonna keep this. So this is part of my shop, my stash, but this is um, the Primrose Cheek and Lip Cream. That gives me a nice variety and I really, really like it. And then there's another thing that's, oh yeah, there's the translucent Laura Mercier. So I really need to pick probably just one powder. Which one am I gonna pick? Am I gonna pick this one or am I gonna pick this one? You know what, I've been using this one. Let's go ahead and use the Laura Mercier. Um, I have this eyeshadow. It needs to go back as well. Here's an eyebrow pencil and it doesn't even work. That went in the trash and here's my brow gel will stay as well. Uh, primer still going strong with the Milani Prime and Protect so we'll go ahead and keep that in the basket. Aha, there we go. This is the Believe Beauty. Um, this is going on the chopping block. I don't like the color. It's way too white-based, the creamy peach. It's really, really white-based. Let me go ahead and give you guys a swatch really quick. So I think I might go ahead and put this on the chopping block. But you can see right there. See how it's really, really, really light? I guess I could probably use it as a eyeshadow maybe? I don't know. It just doesn't... It doesn't really do what I want it to do. I don't know why. See, first of all, it's like blending in and it's kind of blending away. And then the other part is that it's like actually kind of almost like a white based blush. And so this is going to go on the top of the look. All right, now I've got everything put away. Let's go ahead and shop for about three categories of um, stuff. So let's go ahead and head over and pick out some um, really fun goodies. Okay, so I'm going to do a powder blush eyeshadow palette and um, highlight today for my shop my stash for the monthly thing because you can see how crazy things get with me so the first thing that I do want to start out with is my single eyeshadows that I'm going to be using this is a selection of Sydney Grace eyeshadows the video should already be up so I'm gonna go ahead and link it for you guys in the eye right now you can go check out that but it is a dupe for my Too Faced sunset stripped palette I'm in the neutral mood folks I'm in the neutral mood so what that means is we got to pick out something that's sunny and bright and colorful so let's go ahead and grab out some colorful palettes to complement our neutral palette right here I'm gonna set it aside and the first one that comes to mind is my colored rain. I, I'm trying to think here what I could use. So I really like this lemon color. And then, oh, this, this right here, this crushing color also looks really pretty. I think I might use that. Let's go ahead and check out a couple of my other um, really, really nice colorful palettes to see if there's anything in there that might trump this but I kind of want to use this one so next here the one that I'm thinking of that comes to mind is my tropic palette from Fantasia it's kind of um, mimics the Natasha Denona tropic palette and since there's so much buzz about you know some of the shades from the tropic I thought maybe I should select this palette I don't know it does have quite a bit of neutral in it though, so I feel like I would be pushed to use my neutrals. 
and not dig into these colors right here. So this, this is like kind of like an easy out and I don't want to do that. I want to make sure that it's a colorful palette. So we're going to put that one away and see what else I've got. Ooh, I do have the at forest site, which I feel like, Ooh, this might be the one. This one has a lot of, it does have some neutrals, but they're very, very vibrant neutrals. So I feel like, you know, this, this, these are all super, super gorgeous colors. Um, I don't know though. Are we going to have the same problem that we did the last time where we've got, you know, with the last palette where we've got the, you know, too many neutrals because trust me, if you give me an out, I will take it. I don't know. Here's a palette with some colors again, still kind of wandering into those neutrals and it might be just a little bit too easy to pick out some neutrals and not use some of those colors. Well, I wanted it, so um, here it is. I really don't see a way out to use any of the neutrals or anything like that. Haven't ever used this palette before um, in conjunction with anything else. I've only used it for like by itself. So I think this will be kind of interesting to see. Um, but does it outdo the colored rain? I would say probably not. Let me grab the colored rain out. Let's take a look at it. What do we think? You know, what do we think? I think, I think probably what I'll go ahead and do is I'll just use the colored rain. Um, there's some really, really pretty pops, that pop of yellow and then that peach, that blue row isn't really particularly calling my name, but those two greens with the yellow and then that purple. Yeah, let me, let's add this. Let's add this to the collection. Uh, just want to draw some attention here because I did forget to in my, um, you know, what's going, what's staying. I do want to just let you know, I created this, um, palette for the month of April. And so I will probably also be toggling between this and the other two palettes that I have, but I'm kind of strongly thinking of putting this away just for the simple fact of, I wasn't too impressed with this blue and this green looked really pretty, but I thought that this was going to marry into it better and it doesn't. So I'm not really sure if I want to stay with that. That's a really pretty Davina shade. I believe it's what, like Toucan or something. I don't know, but it's really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and keep it for my palettes. But then I also want to remind you, I'm putting these four shadows away. I use these for an entire like four days straight, I absolutely loved these shadows, loved them. And they were so spectacular to use on my trip, my weekend trip. Look at that. Look at that. That's gorgeous. So these came from the Pat McGrath Celestial Divinity Palette. Boy, it's like I just, there we go. Just don't have my life together. So those four shades right there. So if you own the Pat McGrath, just take out those four in that sequence and you would have these or just use those four shades and that would be it. I forget, not, these aren't removable. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those back, get headed over there and show you guys what I have. Oh, wait, 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 but there's more. I gotta do a highlight as well. So let's go ahead and pick out a highlight. All right, hopefully this angle is not like too terribly crazy for you. Um, I kind of noticed right now that this is angled for when you pull the drawer out. So we'll just slide this puppy around. Uh, I have some singles here that are kind of like what I would consider my special singles. So um, I want to pick one of these shades for like a throw and go kind of look. Here's the first one. This is RMS in the shade Magnetic. Um, it's an eye polish. Not really something that I really like. I might end up putting that on the chopping block. I've also got some special topper shades from Natasha Denona. Um, then I've got some ColourPop Super Shocks, Rowan, and uh, some of these Ulta Beauty Bounce Shadows. So given what I have already, I do like the idea of using this one. And this is the Ulta Beauty um, what is it? Bouncy Eyeshadow. 
in the shade Buttercream. And I do apologize, I just had to wash my hands and then put some lotion on them. So that's kind of, it's just like a sheer topper. Although I don't know if that wouldn't get overpowered by the Sydney Gray shadow. So let me grab another shade. Okay, here's another one and this is in Italian Ice. That would be a good, that might have to be my vote. And then there's this one, which actually kind of goes with the Sunset Stripped Dupe Palette in the shade, um, is it Macaroon? <laughs> I know it's not Macaron. Or no, it's not Macaroon, it's Macaron. There you go. Macaron. What do you think? Should we do this one? Or should we do this one? Let's swatch them and find out. All right, so here's Italian Ice, I think is what it was. And there's Macaron. Let me look, let me look. Yeah, Italian Ice is this one. And Macaron is the pinky shade. I think I'm gonna go with this one since I'm looking for a um, topper shade, which is actually found in the Too Faced Sunset Stripped Palette, but I'm using the shade Tierra, so this is gonna be a great, you know, really make me feel like I'm experiencing the Too Faced Sunset Stripped Palette, so I think I'm gonna go with this one. All right, lastly, let's pick out a highlight and then I'll show you guys the final basket. All right, I'm back here in this drawer. Just got lippies, highlighters, bronzers, cheeks, that kind of thing. Um, I have this Beauty by Pop Sugar. I got it off of BoxyCharm. And it's got these two highlighters in it. So this, I'm thinking, I'm wondering if I could use this just to test it out, see if I want to keep it in my collection or not. Okay, I was using the Sydney Grace highlighter in the shade Whipped Berry. And it's very beautiful. It's It quickly blinds you. So I think I want to go for something softer and subtler. I'm also considering putting the Mary Luminizer up on the topping block. So I might want to use that again. Um, oh. And here is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amorese Highlighter. So I'm not sure if I don't want to use that. Let me grab swatches of the Amrezy and the new uh, Pop Sugar one. Okay, so here is the two Pop Sugar ones. And then here's the Amrezy highlighter. I think I'm going to use the Pop Sugar one. It's a little bit less blinding. It kind of reminds me of the Urban Decay Sin one, though. So I, that one might go up on the chopping block next. So let's go ahead and grab this guy, put him in, and uh, I'm going to show you guys the final selection, and we'll go ahead and show you guys a brush rotation. All right, here we are. So this is the makeup basket. Of course, I've got bronzers. I've got my SPF setting sprays, one with SPF and one without. I'm using the Laura Mercier flawless fusion i'm getting pretty low on it so i want to finish it up um i really don't fuss too much about uh, mascara so there's the lash princess one primrose cream putting the pop sugar in and then my single eyeshadow um the ulta beauty bouncy cream eyeshadow in the shade italian ice thank goodness it wasn't macaron because <laughs> i would have probably mispronounced it at that point um, and then also wanting to show you guys here, I'm putting my palettes in one of these. It's an organizer that I think I got from Walmart. So I can go ahead and link it down below for you guys, but this is just going to be behind my basket. So when I'm ready, I'll just grab what I need and then I will be ready to go. So let's go ahead and get into these brushes. All right, here is the monthly brush rotation. Um, probably okay to keep these guys. I would like to keep this one, but I think I'm going to go ahead and rotate it out. Um, keeping, you know, I, I used this actually more than I thought I was going to. But one thing that I did notice, um, yeah, I'm going to keep this as well. Use this quite a bit. I didn't end up using, oh yes, I did end up using this brush. My son cleaned it for me. I think that I'm overexposing you guys. I don't know why. It, it feels like my camera lens has a film on it, but I've wiped it six times now. 
um, this one, I don't know what the deal is with this one, but this um, Smith 232 is just like, I don't know what the deal is. I think I'm going to rewash it and I'm going to put it away. I'm going to go ahead and put that away as well as this. Here's my Veramona dual ended. I think I'm going to rewash and keep it. This one's going to go away after I wash it. I did use this quite a bit, but I think I'm ready to wash and put it away. The 16, I think I'm going to wash and keep as well. This, I'm going to go ahead and wash and put away as well as this. So here's what I've got that's going to stay. I think I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple more eye brushes um, and a, a few face brushes. A few, not too many. Eye brushes, I've really had a hankering for a good synthetic blending brush, such as this. So this is the Makeup Forever 242, not to be confused with the MAC 242. Um, I really think that with the Sunset Strip Dupe Palette with the Sydney Grace, I'm going to want a blending brush that's just going to give like a wash of color over the lids. I'm going to do that. And then the last brush that I want to pick out is a shader brush. Somewhat similar to the MAC 275, but maybe just not angled. Do we have one that's like not angled? I don't think the 239 is what I'm looking for. That's a little bit too... Hmm. Do I have anything? I know I do. Oh, please don't tell me I don't. And then I'm going to have to go buy... Oh, here we go, here we go. This is the one I'm thinking of. The MAC 213. Why doesn't this focus? And why is... I hope this isn't like lost footage because this is so like... It's so foggy looking. What's wrong? Alright, so I think that's all I'm going to be adding for the eye brushes. Let's head over to some face brushes. For this, I know that I want to grab this highlighting brush to really see if I want that Pop Sugar highlighting palette or not. Grabbing this for a nice, um, you know, face buffer brush to put on foundation. Then for blush and bronzer. That's a cute brush. Let's rotate through some of these brushes. This is a nice, like, blending brush. This could be a nice bronzer. I think I, the two MAC brushes that I have, the 129 and the 129, um, should be okay for blush and bronzer. But this could be a Target powdering brush. I rarely ever have those, and then I end up having to wipe off brushes. You know what, let's throw in this angled contour brush as well. See how that works out this round. And then um, putting my MAC 134 for like a total all over blending brush. So I think that should do it for this round. All right, that's what we have for the uh, makeup brush rotation. And um, if I go ahead and add in my basket here is the monthly shop my stash so thanks so much for joining me guys i hope you all enjoyed this episode of shop my stash and i hope this is encouraging you to use what you've got if you haven't already homework is going to be to um subscribe down below right there yep that button it's free don't worry all right guys see you in the next video can't wait Bye bye mm -hmm.